Hello everyone. Today in this example, we are going to show you how do you create a Libra H1 from Italiana. Okay, so my name is Aaron. I'm, I'm, I'm from the know-how. So let me just move this aside and, and launch Pyta. So over here in Pyta, okay, we are just going to create the face. Alright, I'm going to bring in the carcass. Okay, and in this carcass, we will move the back panel back by 15 mm okay just like the drawing okay so now in this drawing we have to draw the hardware okay we can just uh, do a simulation of the hardware meaning that we do not need to draw the exact hardware for the look we can just make it a, a square so we know that the hardware is about 37 mm so i'm just going to press block okay just come back to here i just press block click anywhere I'll say that the length is 37, the height is 100, and the depth of the hardware is 15. Okay, so we have, okay, oops, so I'm just going to rotate this guy to 90 degree. If I keep the sequence wrong. Okay, so now we have a hardware. This is one. Okay, we are going to move this hard, copy this hardware to the other side. But before I do that, we are just going to add the machining data on this hardware. Okay, we know that for the Italiana, we need to put in uh, this hardware, number one. We are going to do number one, which is here, this oval shape, all right? So how do we draw that in Python? We have to draw a face, okay, to do this in Python. So we first go into maybe our auxiliary lines, okay? So we go into exact view and we say auxiliary lines. Okay, so we are just going to draw the auxiliary line and how do we do it, okay? We will do by just going to line, move it to the center and where it says edge center, click and move your cursor up so that the angle is 90. Done. So we have our first line. Okay, we know that the hardware goes starts at 25 from here. So I'm just going to say horizontal line, click, and I'm going to use this thing called a uh, parallel. Clicking on this, bring it down by 25 mm. Okay, I know that it is about 54.5 mm to the bottom same thing parallel down 54.5 mm to the bottom all right next i know that this wave is 12 so it's 6 6 okay if i don't want to be confused i can say just delete this so that it's done then we are going to say vertical or rather just parallel again 6 and 6 mm to this side so we have something like this now Okay, we know that the diameter of this is 6, so I can do different things. I can say draw a circle, but I'm just going to same thing. Do a parallel up by 6, parallel down by 6, and I'll say circle, click this, and click this point, click this, and click this point. Okay, so once we are done, how do I convert this into a face? I go to 3D data, face. Okay, I first click on the start point, which is here. I start, so I click, click. Then if I want Baita to have this arc, I move my mouse as such that it says auxiliary circle. Click on auxiliary circle, click at this point, I'll go down, click again at auxiliary circle and click at this point. Say accept. So now if I say exit, main, we do have a face, all right? And I simply just need to move this face from this point to this space in the y direction so we have a machining there okay so to to do the machining okay we just need to tell Python under workshop okay so now we have the machining we are going to use a command called router edges so we are going to click on router edges and click on this guy and press enter and basically we tell Python that the this edges is going to be pocketed all right or it's going to be using a cutter to cut the inside so you we can maybe say inside face okay using a cutter and we say that you know uh please uh cut about uh we would say using an 8mm router okay i can choose an 8mm router so remember to choose your router and state the depth so if my back panel depth is only uh 6mm i'm going to cut 7 all right and for inside face, I'll go L, press OK. So this becomes a yellow part, okay? And this, uh, you have the machining data 
place on this yellow bar. All right. Okay, so now we are done. You are just going to copy this hardware to the other direction, maybe about, we would say, 400 mm to the right. Okay, so now we want to make this like a a part okay so i'm just going to use the tools and i'm just going to unite them together so that they belong together all right done okay so now what happens is that i want to be able to save this hardware as a library okay so i will say file save as part selection saving these two guys as a library i'm just going to call it uh maybe libra h1 okay so I'm saying Libra H1, I'm going to save it in my desktop. All right. So now I can just file open, or rather I can just maybe delete these two guys, open another Python. Okay, launch another Python. Okay, and then now what we just need to do now with this is to just open so file open all right libra h1 and we have a h1 okay so once we have done our part we are just going to group them together so we are just going to say uh group group parts select everything and we just group them together and call it like uh libra h1 hardware okay so this captures in a group all right uh so I'm just going to say okay so now we have created this hardware okay and we can save it okay so this will become a hardware and we move it to here okay and how do we insert the hardware into here we just drag it in all right you see that we are the first reference point we can just press ctrl and click okay the hardware is placed and I can just move select this part of the hardware from here to here this is for customers that do not have the parametric library okay if you have parametric library you can just click click and the part will expand what do i mean by that i'll show you later okay so now if i say lay flat this back panel you'll see that the machining is transferred to the back panel and you have the machining data there 